two, three, four. <laughs> Greetings, I'm Rob Chapman. And I'm the captain. We've got some biggity Bonamassa type tones Can here I just in the say, house I, today. I did think, given that you've got a substantially cheaper guitar than this one, and I think a substantially cheaper amplifier as well than what I'm using, that sounded fat as something that rhymes with duck but begins with a different letter. Canard. Um, but you know what? It's not all about the money, is it, Lee? No, not sometimes. But that, that drop D sound. thing that you had was so fat. Anyway, yeah. the uh, blues monster. Uh, blues rock monster that is uh, Joe Bonamassa, uh, or Joe Bonamassa, depending on your pronunciation of his surname, uh, has a, a new Epiphone signature guitar out. Um, Come in. Is that tone? Yes. <laughs> it is, as I'm sure most of you will have guessed by now, uh, an Epiphone uh, 355 with a Bigsby. Uh, but it's been souped up to Joe's spec with Epiphone Pro Buckers, Bigsby B7, Ebony Fretboard. It's just basically a big fat sounding guitar. So I thought that's the focus. This is a mere distraction. It's a second hand signed uh, Bonnerbird. Uh, you know, as you can see, uh, the, the bastard child of a Les Paul and a Firebird. Uh, signed, <laughs> as you can see we on went the a back, bit, by... Bit Game of Thrones then, didn't we? Joe Bonamassa. I can't tell whether that body is screaming, kill me, because of the headstalk, or whether the headstalk is saying, oh, this is great, because I of the saw, body. Yeah, I saw oh, him yeah. live in... <coughs> I saw him live in... On Clapham Common. Uh, obviously at a gig as opposed to any other reason for being on Clapham Common. Right. Um, What's wrong with being on Clapham Common? Then? And he played this exact guitar. Not this exact guitar, but this exact model well, of guitar. Well, it could have been that one. And I've got a feat. No, I think his has Joe Bonamassa written on the fretboard. And I think it was, if I remember rightly, that had been done almost like a one-off. Yeah, in case it's like, whose is that guitar? I'm not sure. Oh, it's Joe's. It's got his name written yeah. on the fretboard. Um, I'm fairly sure it was done as a one-off for him. And then, like, such was the... Like, oh, that's cool that Gibson did a little limited run. But anyway, <clears throat> hey, this video is not about this, but if you're dive on over to the Anderson's website, there is a second-hand one that you might like. But it's about this. Yes, it's Give about some this. some tones, Rob. So it's full of them. <coughs> Can I just say, it feels nice to play. Yeah. It is um, it is a weighty chunk of solid tree wood. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think the Bigsby and the Humbuckers obviously adding to that gigantic tone girth. It's, it's the classic maple poplar mapler. Maple, maple, poplar, maple, sort of laminate that you always get on a, like, or you should get on a proper sort of three, three, five. Yeah. Mahogany neck, uh, ebony fingerboard, um, and the and the Bigsby. Bigsby I did a cheeky little bit of uh, Bigsby work, and then I think it's probably out of tune. I'm just guessing that. Well, from the Bigsby's, they are slightly notorious for that. Pro Bucker Three is on there, I should say. They're they're sort of voiced to be like a, an old PAF uh, humbucker. 
Um, pa, 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 pa. 12 inch radius, so relatively flat board, but again, just like a Gibson would be. Um, would be? Yep, would be. Bigsby. Would be? Bigsby. No, I think would be. The, the only thing I think this guitar needs desperately is less stickers on it. So take note, Epiphone. I don't like the QR code that you put on the scratch plate. Possibly um, the most pleasant ringy ding behind a uh, bridge I've ever witnessed in my life. Um, <laughs> Load of bass in there, there is a bucket load of bass. If we ever start a chicken shop, is that what we're going to call it? Or no, be deep fish, fried fish. Deep fried fish. Bucket, bucket full, of, full bass. of bass. Let's put on Register the old. Register that uh, now. Quick. It's too good. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Chap and Captain's uh, bucket full um, of bass. Rob's using the Fender Bass Breaker 30, uh, and it's sounding. Fat. I like it. Yes, it is sounding fat. That like could also it. be because I'm fat. Well. Uh, and I'm using the marvellous engine to get this. Like we, did, we we grabbed purely and simply because it's it's a it's a Joe Bonamassa. Uh, actually, I don't know if it's a signature pedal, but it's in some way connected to <coughs> him. Was the way huge overrated special? So okay, what ready? Does that sound like here is the overrated special. Here was the marvellous engine. Engine, saturated special. Little, slightly different EQ curve on the two of them, aren't they? And plus we've got the gain dialed all the way up on. was an excerpt from uh, Joe Bonamassa's uh, upcoming album uh, called Shredmaster Blues. Edom and Shred. Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, the Ballad of John Shredmaster. Uh <laughs> <laughs> so <coughs> this guitar comes with a case. It's part of a limited edition run that Epiphone have done. So you get a nice certificate, nice hard case. Um, when they're gone, they're gone. Uh, but I like it. I That's like the it. nature of object prominence. What, uh, <laughs> what serial number would someone have to buy to get all of your f uh, fingerprints all over it? Uh, is it in the sound hole, it maybe? It doesn't actually... Oh, it might have it in the... It just says... What well, it says here is, don't throw me in a bin, inspection quality control, handcrafted in China, 2018 Epiphone performance, and then it's got Joe's name. And then in the sound hole, it should have it a says, number. It says... <laughs> Limited edition Joe Bonamassa ES355. Okay, number. Ready for this, YouTube? 18101500711. That's his phone number. Wow, well, they made uh, 18 billion, 115,000, I don't know, whatever. It's a big number. 
I don't think they made over a billion of them. I, I, <laughs> they may have done. I mean, I imagine Bonamassa Joe Bonamassa's royalty check would be huge. Huge. If that's how many they made. But no, I don't know how many. It probably says on the FM website. They're normally like a run of a thousand or something like that. I so like this. And if I ever needed to defend myself on stage, I'd either hire someone from... Uh, like a security firm? I was waiting for you to do the story about the, the Richards and the... You know, Keith Richards and the telly. I, I've not seen that. I, I, all I know You've is... You've not seen that video? No. Well, Keith Richard Keith, passes Keith, someone with a telecaster. Are they? you kidding me that you've not no, I've seen, never this. seen the video? No. So, so someone, it's a really famous. Someone runs on stage and Keith just gets his telly and just goes to bat them off with the telly. I like it. What like <clears throat> old school Stones or recently? Mm, it's not that old. I mean, it's like you know, within the last sort of fifteen years, I think. Ah, it's, really, Keith. it's really well known, isn't it? Everyone has seen this video. Yeah, I've never seen. Yeah, Pete's obviously seen. I've the never video. seen Joe. <coughs> I've never seen Joe wield a, no. a guitar in a threatening manner. <laughs> you've seen. Tell, pray, tell us more. <laughs> it's like lounge music. I could loop that. That was nice. Over the top of it. <clears throat> trying to do, get it in the sound hole yeah. do it again it's 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 fun oh, oh, so fun close. fair games can rob get a plectrum in the sound hole oh. one more and then you win a cuddly toy nah, oh. it's fixed uh there you go i hope you've enjoyed this video details where you can find more about both these guitars will be in the description below uh and um yes i hope to see uh, joe bonamassa on stage soon rocking one of these yes. for shizzle yes because he'll be a lot better than we were bye